Welcome to Shop Tick Travel, I'm Luke Martin, and today I'm joined by my friend Chewy from The Chewy Show, one of the best Filipino food vloggers. Thanks for having me, man. Thank you so much, Luke. Welcome back to Manila. I am so pumped to be here. So what is our plan for today, Chewy? This will be an all-out Manila street food tour. I will take you to some legendary street food places. Are yeah. you ready, Luke? I am so pumped to be back here in Manila. This is one of the best cities for eating, and I couldn't picture doing a food tour with anyone else but you, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for Let's having me. Eat. Let's do it. <laughs> This is also called Paris Usok. In English, means Paris smoke because they're using wood fire, which is very seldom here in Manila. Uh, wood fire is being used in provinces like that, the old school way, but here they're using they're using it. So, so smoked Paris. Yeah, smoky Paris, All like right. Paris Usok. And I see that they've got like a bone, like bone marrow too. Yeah, they have bone marrow. Like this is like an innovation because Filipino love. Uh, food that will make your cholesterol high. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. This is a really, really local spot. It's just set up right on the sidewalk here, all open and outdoor seating. There's tons of people working here. Jim's been, it's been around for a long time, like Chewy was just saying. And uh, they have tons of customers, even though we're here at their off hour. So Paras is like a slow cooked beef. But then here, like Chewy was just saying, it's smoked beef and then it's served just with rice. Very typical Filipino food. So let's order one up, try it out. This place is really, really cool. Super local. We're kind of standing in like a shed. Yep. <laughs> this is 24 hours. 24 hours. So Paris is the food for every time. I mean, breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack. After you get uh, drunk, <laughs> yeah. you eat this. Or early in the morning, anytime yeah. you want. And this is not like the Paris that I've seen before. This one's really soupy. It's yeah, like yeah. thin broth, right? And uh, the ones I've seen before have been a lot thicker, but I can see tons of smoked beef, right? Smoked beef. And then we're gonna transfer that right onto the rice. Oh man. I can smell it already. Cheers, Cheers man. Oh yeah. Oh wow. It's so beefy. Nice. Yeah. It's like concentrated beef flavor. Mm. Oh man. Really tender too. It's a different attack. Mm hmm. And uh, compared to the original traditional Paris, yeah, because this one's like the bulalo style, very like also smoky mm -hmm. because of the firewood. And it tastes a little bit like cleaner, a little <laughs> bit lighter flavor than mm. some of the other Paris. It's really <laughs> thick. And let's go for one more bite. Yep. So this is like my personal choice. I put some calamansi. Okay. To add some citrus. Lots of calamansi here in yeah. the Philippines. I love it. So delicious. Adds a citrusy, orangey flavor. And then what do you got there? A bunch of Wait. chili. And then I got some chilies here. Oh man, that is looking spicy. Look at this bowl of chili. Fresh chilies, huh? Let's try that with a little bit of the calamansi. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Classic. Yep. Man, I love the flavor of that calamansi. It's like orangey, citrusy. It gives a little sourness. That's why a lot of uh, people or Filipinos come here. You can just drench the, the rice with that soup. That's one of my favorite things in the world. It's kind of like a soupy rice with all that flavor in the rice. Oh my God, it's good. Man. That is a solid bowl of Paris. Yep. And what a cool place too. 24 hours, come and get your Paris fix any time of day. It's unlimited soup. Unlimited soup? Yeah, so for example. Free refill. Yeah, free refill. Oh, right on. This is always one of my favorite Filipino foods. It's just so classic, simple, home cooked, but it's just full of flavor. The beef is so tender at this spot, Jim's amazing. Oh man, with the chili, <laughs> yum. So we're just going on an all out food tour today. Where are we going next, Joey? So what? after the soupy, savory broth, let's have some dessert. Okay. It's a surprise. All it's right. a mini surprise. <laughs> let's go, I'm excited. Let's go. All right, Joey, where have you brought me? We're here in the historical, legendary Mang Tut's Banana Rama. All right, so we're gonna see how they're making their famous Banana Rama. We're gonna meet the man behind the name. We're gonna try it out. I've heard a lot, so this is let's, a nice surprise, man. Let's eat some mini run. All right, let's, let's go. go. It's 11 years already, maybe 13 years. 13 years. Uh, for this, uh, how, how many years it's been working with it? Ice? Yeah, old channel. Uh, 
Uh, he, he started here in USA. And then he... Just a Taiwanese very, you know. So I'm with Mang Toots here and we're going to try his famous Banana Rama, yeah. and uh, we just saw how they're made. It's it's kind of like a spring roll or a lumpia. So it's first a couple pieces of banana wrapped up in a wrapper, and now we're just making the sauce. And you were saying there's all kinds of different ingredients in here: yeah. jackfruit, banana essence, but banana the, flavor, yeah. cinnamon, sugar, pineapple juice. But the key, or one of the main ingredients too, is, is the rum, right? Rum, yeah. Yeah, and I can smell it. So we're caramelizing the sauce now, and then we're going to toss in in the banana rama into this right yes and get that coated so it will be like a heavy caramel Very so that uh, it will be uh, heavy coated in the banana to get all so that on, flavor yeah. on there and this smells so good guys i can smell the cinnamon you can smell the banana you get a little bit of that rum essence in there man that smells good i can't wait to try this out. really unique and you've been selling this for how many years Wow, it's almost uh, 13 years. 13 years. Yes. And he's selling like 10,000 a day. Yeah. Crazy. So these are super popular. Thank you, you know, for having us. Before the before pandemic, I sold out maybe 14,000 a day. <laughs> yeah. So we'll just make the half of these. Yeah, you can see they're all individual, yeah. almost like little spring rolls there. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful caramelizing sauce. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. Smells incredible. Yeah. We Look sell it until we start uh, cooking uh, nine or eight o'clock in the morning until uh, seven o'clock in the evening. And what is this? This is the uh, concoction of rum, banana, banana essence to make it uh, smell good and banana oh, yeah. flavor. That smells so good. To, to make it rum. sticky. Yeah. To make it sticky. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see it's starting to coat completely. Yes, and then we will put some sesame seeds. Sesame seeds are really nice. That looks so, so good. Oh my okay. God. Look at how gooey and delicious oh. those are looking. Completely coated in that yes. beautiful, beautiful sauce. Oh my gosh. Is it better to eat them when they're hot like this or should you wait for them to cool down? Uh, I think it's cooled down already, yeah. but I have some spoon. And where is the... Uh, so friendly. This is the, composed of cinnamon, white sugar, and uh, milk boy or we, we call it skim milk oh like powdered milk yeah okay but this one we uh, when when there's a lot of orders we separate this one because you know it makes soft when it takes uh, when we put this one already oh okay so you can't you gotta add That's it last more. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay yeah. got you it's time to try yes let's try together yeah. this uh, this is like a freshman food because I'm from the University of Santa Masta, the University in France. So if you're a freshman, it's like it's a must try. It's yeah. mandatory to eat yeah. the banana ram of mango. During your degree, yeah. how many of these do you think you ate? I don't know. I think my DNA has a lot of banana ram. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe right. hundreds. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 We try together. My first cheers. time here. Cheers. cheers. Thank you. Mm. Oh my god. Oh yeah. The banana. Perfectly ripe on the inside. It's almost got a little bit of a sourness in the banana on the inside, but then that exterior is sweet, gooey. You taste yeah. the essence of the rum. Mm. That is phenomenal. Oh my god! And it's like very uncommon to see a uh, toron that is usually this size because yeah. usually toron is a big size. Mm -hmm. so this is a bite size. These are perfect little one. Perfect bite. Yeah. explosion mm. of flavors in your mouth. Oh my god, guys! Wow. Mm. Another, please. Yeah. <laughs> The little bits of sesame on the outside add a, just a hint of sesame flavor and then you get that sweet cinnamon on the outside. Oh my god. Gosh. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. It's so, so good. This will be a hit in Canada. Seriously. Canadians is. would love this. So we've just arrived to our next spot. We're just jumping around spot to spot. It's just gonna be eating all day today, strictly eating. It's pouring rain right now, but we're gonna have a really famous soup, which is perfect for a rainy day like today. So they've got two bubbling pots of soup. What kind of soup are they serving here? It's called bulalo. 
Bula it's a huge beef bone soup. Beef and bone. we love this, especially in a rainy day, a cold mm -hmm. December month. Yeah, I can smell that they're cooking it on charcoal. Yep. Which I love here in the Philippines. They're doing it even in like a nice kind of modernish place like this. They're still doing it in a traditional way, using the charcoal like that. And look, this place is a neighborhood. So Laon Lan is like a area or neighborhood in Manila. So this is uh, very local. Right. Uh, a lot of people from their house go here just to take out some bulalo. Okay, I can't wait to try this. I've never tried bulalo, but I can see these bubbling pots. I can see big chunks of beef in there. So let's order one up. It's let's gonna go. be perfect for this rainy weather. Tara. That is just an absolute monster chunk of beef snipping up into manageable pieces. And the broth, I can see green chilies, garlic, I can see some black peppercorns floating around in there, bubbling around. Oh, that looks so, so good. So they've also got a grill here, and one of their specialties is their stuff squid so it's stuffed with celery onions all kinds of different herbs and stuff and he's cooking on charcoal the huge flame getting that nice and charred on the outside so we're sat down with our two dishes here what's the name of this restaurant this is bulaloan salaunlaan bulaloan salaunlaan so we've got uh, some more things coming some condiments but the famous dish here is the bulolo. Yep. And this is the slow cooked beef with, look at that. That is all bone marrow in the middle. I can't believe you're not going for that first. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I gotta go in for that first. Because they, this will block our artery. So I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Just go for a small piece at least. Mix it with some of that beef. Oh, this is so packed. It's overflowing. There's so much going on in there. is a phenomenal soup it's so perfectly like balanced it's, it's really fatty with that bone marrow of course but the broth is clean and it's it's simple so it kind of just like cuts through it mixes with the beef perfectly oh my god actually bro the mo one of the most defining fish of bolalo it's a soup if the soup is good that's a good sign this is because a good we soup. filipinos we like we love some rice right so sometimes what we do we oh, just yeah. put some soup on the rice on the rice no meat and then we'll just eat and then after we finish one rice, we'll get another rice. That's the time we will eat the meat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're being resourceful. I can do that all day too. I love the soup with the rice. Oh, it reminds me a little bit of kamsi, which mm. I tried in Bacala. Similar, but this one's got a different, more beefy, cleaner t flavor. Actually, you're right. Kamsi is a bulalo, but it is like a more sour. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. got that ajiote uh, taste in it, a little bit sour. Oh my god, though, guys, I love Filipino soups. From Sinigang to Bulalo, Kansi, they're all pretty much my favorite Filipino foods of them all. Oh my god, I love it. There are different kinds of Bulalos in uh, in the Philippines. In each province, they have their own version of Bulalo. Mm. So this one, this is like a Metro Manila style kind of Bulalo. Yeah. Oh, this is such a good version. So I'm stealing all of the, the bone marrow for myself. Sorry, Chewy. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I can have it every day. <laughs> oh my god. It just completely liquefies in your mouth. What do you got going on here? I'm making you a little sauce. Yeah, sauce. So this is fish sauce. Fish sauce. Chili okay. and calamansi. And that's for the beef. Yep. Okay. Fish sauce, calamansi. Let's grab a piece of beef. Yep. Oh, you can dip it or There's you can put so it in your rice. So it depends on you. Just go straight. Mm -hmm. A little saltiness, sourness, spicy. Oh my gosh, seriously, Filipino soups go hard. <laughs> They're so good. Man, that is awesome. Okay, we're gonna try the squid next. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> the squid is just absolutely packed full of stuff. Look at that. Tons of stuff in there. Celery, you have onions, uh, onion leaves, and tomatoes. Okay, I'll just kind of take a cross section here. I'm gonna lose a lot of filling there, but <laughs> take it back. Oh, it's stuck. It's like squid on steroids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is a crazy squid. Oh man, you're not gonna one bite that, are you? 
It depends on your mouth. It depends how big on your mouth it is. I think I can do it. I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> Just be a challenge. I don't think it's gonna work. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Whoa. A lot of fresh veggies going on there. That actually might be like the most vegetables I've ever seen in a Filipino food before. Mm. You guys are like the meat, fried, rice, eggs. I don't see a whole ton of dishes with fresh veggies like that. I'm not a huge squid lover, but that's dominated by the flavor of the fresh celery in there. I can taste the onions, there's peppers, all kinds of things, cilantro. Actually, that's really, really good too. I've never even seen that dish before today. I'm not a huge squid lover, but that's really good. What's this here? Uh, it's an extra barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce, okay, yeah. Go for a snip. It's super smoky. That was probably the least flattering <laughs> one bite I've ever done on camera. <laughs> I love the squid, but man, this bulalo, so, so good. The beef here is just effortless. Chewing, super tender, and the soup says amazing flavor. You can only get that flavor cooking it with charcoal like that. It's low cook. Oh my God. You start like early morning uh, yeah. boiling that the beef takes so forever. It would be tender. Oh, so good. I love how there's some really like fatty chunks like that. And we've got some veggies <laughs> in there too, eh? That's the chest. That's the chest meat? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sometimes, uh, most bulalo use the knee. The knee. So this one is had a more lipid, a fatty part. Ah, okay. And there's a little bit of lettuce down there. You know, to get your conscience up, right? Yeah, so, exactly. I mean, eat some veggies. 5% lettuce. Yep. 95% fat. Seriously good. Good. Pull out loud. Try it in the Philippines next time. I can't believe I've never tried it up until this point. So we're finished off with the Bulalo. We've come to another area of Manila. This is called Ugbo, Ugbo? Ugbo night market, but we're here early. It's still opening up, but we've come to, what is this spot? This is the Mangrados Lechon since 1994. Lechon. So before all of this street food scene here in Tondo, this is the original like uh, street food legend since 1994. So this since 1994. Yeah. Same year as me. <laughs> yeah, my birthday, yeah. 29 years. So it's down this tiny, tiny little alley. Let's go. Look at this. Whew. Let's go. What is lechon called Wali? So this is a different kind of lechon. The usual lechon that you can see in the internet is a whole roasted pig. But this one is like the belly and deep fried. Deep fried. So Super crispy. We, we call it lechon kawale because kawale in English is like the pan. Uh, like the wok. Right. Yeah. So okay, it's okay. being lechon in the wok. Deep fried lechon belly. We got huge slabs of it right here. This one's already finished cooking. These are the uncooked ones and then she just dropped another slab in there and look at it boiling away oh my gosh this restaurant is so narrow it's just taking up this entire alley they're frying the lechon there they've got a little station here where they're cooking the soup and then you can see all of the customers lined up along the side here really tight quarters we're gonna try to find a seat and order up the lechon koali and then also their famous soup too Has arrived. We are sat down. We've got all kinds of different things. I think they brought us pretty much one of everything. <laughs> so this is their famous dish, though, the lechon kuali. It's the same thing as Cantonese shuyok. So it's got that super crispy fried pork skin on the outside, fatty pork belly on the inside. And then what is the soup here, Chewy? This is the tumbong soup or large intestine soup. Large intestine yep. soup. So there's yeah some 
lechon intestines in there. Oh yeah, wow, you can see it. And then some garlic, some scallions in there. And then we've also got a plate of all kinds of different cuts, braise things. What do we got in here? Uh, but ovaries, we have tong, ovaries, tong. tong. Yeah. Wow, so like everything Intestine. else. Yeah. Everything else. <laughs> oh man. All right, we've got a feast here in the alleyway at uh, Mangrado. Mangrado. Okay, let's dig in. Okay, going for the lechon quali. We got a sauce here. What is a sauce? It's so like a sweet, sweet sauce. sticky sauce. Oh, you're completely drenching it, huh? Yeah, Okay. that's the style. Yeah, a, little bit, uh, a little bit of uh, shredded papaya. Shredded papaya, oh, really cool, okay. Oh yeah, we've also got fried, uh, fried rice, garlic fried rice here. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 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 Seriously crunchy. Fatty, very fatty. That sauce is nice and sweet. Garlic from the garlic rice. Yeah. That's super crunchy, man. It's the ultimate tondo comfort food. Yeah. I mean, if you're fishing tondo, even the even my like my uncles and aunties go here because it's like this is a heritage food. Yeah. Yeah. And look at this. They also gave us an extra piece of just the skin. <laughs> here, let me share this with you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You hear that? Oh my god. That is so crunchy, man. Wow. A little salty, too. That's why they call it so called it lechon. Lechon. Because it's like yeah. the crispy outside yeah. and juicy and tender inside. But like you can see, this is all bubbled up. It's not really like the mm. smooth lechon skin. And this goes well with this sauce because it is quite salty, actually. A little shredded papaya, too. <laughs> That crunch level, 9,000. Oh man, you can break a tooth. I just love also the garlic rice. Mm. It's a well-balanced meal. Mm -hmm. Large intestines here. What's the name of the, the local name of this? Tumbong. 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 Okay, not a huge fan of the large intestine. You know, that is the last exit point of the, uh, <laughs> you know what. Before it became, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it though. Mm. Wow. I thought it was gonna be chewy, mm. but you're chewy. I'm chewy. That's not chewy. That's not chewy. It's tender. <laughs> no, it's very tender. Actually, it doesn't have a funk either. Yep. Because most of the intestine soup or intestine dish, there's like a pungent flavor yeah. or aroma. Yeah. But in Mangrado, uh, takes skills. He said that he's very proud that he clean it well, so it doesn't have a, like a foul taste no, or smell. No, there's no smell yeah. at all. It's it's like really just the flavor of that soup, which is again a little bit salty. A little bit of uh, garlic flavor in there as well. And mm. full of onion uh, leaves. Yeah, actually, it's not bad at all. Or you can uh, put the, the intestine yeah. and then get some dip in the of, sauce. Yep. What is this? Just a little bit of uh, soy sauce. Soy sauce. And calamansi. Yeah, it's got to be eaten with this garlic fried rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the large intestines. Or the small intestines for that matter, but that's not bad. It's not bad at all. There's no weird flavor. It just tastes like the soup. Okay, so this is the ears, the ovary, and mm. the tongue. Okay, what are you going for? Uh, just go with some tongue. I'm gonna go for whatever okay, okay. the hell this is right here. Okay, <laughs> I think that's the bahay guya. I know, that's a tongue also. That's a tongue. Tongue? Oh, yeah. I love tongue. <laughs> oh, that's super sweet. Oh, it's got a nice braise on the outside. Mm. Mm, that tastes so like Chinese style. Yeah, it tastes Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say like Taiwanese braised uh, organs. Mm. That's uh, really nice, actually. Not like the lechon, which is very salty. That's nice and sweet. Mm. Yeah. Back alley lechon, yum. Some really good lechon quality. A little bit greasy, a little bit salty, but cool atmosphere down this tiny little alley. Might be a little intimidating for a first timer, but everyone was really friendly there. Filipino people are friendly, period. Every Filipino person I know is extremely friendly. Finishing off the day with something sweet. It wouldn't be a complete Filipino food tour without Halo Halo, so we're ordering one up from this place called Aling's Consuelo's Original Halo Halo. They've been around since 1960, so let's try it.
so Hallow Hello is just the mixed ice, all kinds of different ingredients they put in there, but one of the coolest things they're doing is they're using like a hand shaved ice, all manual, and it's a really hidden spot. You gotta go through the narrow front of the shop to get into what honestly looks like just their house. I think this is just their home. <laughs> Look at the table, it's like my dining table at home. Let's sit down and eat. Chewy, how many of these ingredients can you identify in this uh, Hallow Hello? Maybe, I'll just take a guess, like around 10. <laughs> 10 ingredients. Yeah. There's beans, yeah. there's uh, banana, ice cream, jellies, and you know, there's a proper way of mixing halo halo. Oh, am I doing it wrong? I'm starting no, to- No, it's okay, it's okay. Just a, a quick tip. Yeah. So, your spoon, the end of your spoon, will go to the- To the bottom deepest point. point. Yeah. The bottom part, and then slowly. Okay, You'll work just, your way up from yeah, the bottom. Work your way up. There's also a big chunk of- a flan there too. Yeah. I think I lost mine. This is kind of unique because usually in Halo Halo in the Philippines, you're just using like one fourth of flan. Oh. This is like a whole yeah. hockey puck. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> wow, I love the Canadian reference. It is like a hockey puck. <laughs> yeah. All right, man, let's give it a try. Okay. There's ice cream, ice, ube. milk, ube, ube. ube, everything. Oh man. Okay, Tons cheers. of ingredients. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not like super, super sweet. Mm. I taste that flam, milk, get the crunch from the ice, get a piece of this ice cream here. The first time I tried this, uh, there's a lot of variations of halo halo. But this one, I love the milk. Mm. There's a, like a sweet, milky yeah. texture, and it's creamy. like a, a creamy, yeah. actually. And I feel like I'm just sitting at like my grandmother's house or mm. something, right? <laughs> After this, I'll go upstairs and sleep. Yeah, after this, I'll go take a nap upstairs. They've been around since 1960. Can you believe that? Yep. Serving Halo Halo for, what? Seven, uh, 60 something uh, years. Oh, we're bad in math, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> we're bad at math, good at eating. Mm. Mm. No, that's really good Halo Halo. Whew, man, I'm freaking stuffed. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> what a day of eating. Huge thank you to Chewy. Make sure to check out his show, Chewy's thank show. You. All the information down in the description box are popping up on the screen somewhere here. Thanks, man. Finger bro. Yeah. Make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, Chopsticks Travel, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. See ya. Ta-ra.